Okay, folks, we're continuing now on uh, our little review of supply and demand uh, that, that we started off with in a previous video. And once again, this is meant to be a review, uh, although we do recognize that some of you have never seen this stuff and some of you are maybe just a little bit rusty. But anyway, so in the previous video, we walked through uh, the basic idea of a demand curve and what it tells us. It tells us this... Um, a negative relationship between the price of something and the quantity demanded. So, uh, um, if 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 uh, firms offer uh, their good or service at a lower price, more people will want to buy, and that's the negative s slope. Uh, and then on the other hand, uh, the sub the the positive uh, slope of the supply curve. So the idea is, if that market participants uh, are willing to pay a higher price, then um, uh, the uh, uh, firms that produce a good or a service, more firms will enter the market, and each firm may, will, 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 may even produce more than they would have otherwise, and that that means a, a, um, a higher uh, quantity supplied when the price rises. Then we discuss the idea of a an equilibrium price, one price at which supply and demand are equated, and that's one of the most fundamental ideas in economics. But now what we want to talk about is how prices and quantities can move kind of uh, over time, and how those prices and quantities are, 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 are um, um, may be related to uh, shifts in supply, shifts in demand, and then also shifts in supply, or more precisely, shifts in the demand curve and shifts in the supply curve. And we're going to be talking about some of those those issues. So let's first talk about shifts in the demand curve. So this blue demand curve here, the solid blue, this is our initial demand curve. But now let's think about something that may increase the demand uh, at each price. Okay, so for example, uh, the world business cycle, okay, what we call the world business cycle. This is where uh, income and output in the world rises. Uh, there's a there's kind of a, a boom. People are doing better all around the world. And when that happens, they demand more. They would like they have more money in their pockets, shall we say. Uh, they, they, they maybe take more trips in their automobiles. The factories that use uh, uh, fossil fuels will, will be running even more. Uh, we can think about a one particular case where let's say um, let's say one country, China, uh, if China is is doing very, very well, um, uh, their factories may be demanding more fossil fuels, and that would be reflected in a rightward shift here in this blue curve. Here, this is from this this uh, uh, solid to the dotted blue line, and as you can see that that so now that that because because now that people have more income and they and they 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 they, they would like to buy more oil, uh, this comes at a higher price. Why? Because uh, um, as as I mentioned, that that in the case of oil, for example, um, as you increase oil, you're drawing in more higher and higher cost. Uh, uh, s suppliers of oil, you're having to bring in more people to the oil fields, you're having to pay them more. It's now a costlier product, so you're going to see now, in this case, you are bidding up the price. So once again, you'll see that, yes, you will get more, a, hi a higher demand, demand, um, the, the, the equilibrium quantity demanded and quantity supplies rises here. We go move along to the right on this horizontal axis, and, and so we have a higher price and higher quantity. Um, in the other direction, let's suppose that the world economy is kind of tumbling. Everybody's in the in the dumps, and they stop buying. Uh, then what happens is that is is that this demand curve will shift to the left, downward and to the left, uh, to this uh, dashed line. And you can see here that uh, that when this happens, uh, the equilibrium uh, purchases, uh, uh, supply and demand will fall. Uh, people are purchasing less, but at the same time, uh, this also means that uh, as 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 the demand curve shifts, um, uh, f uh, oil suppliers are going to have some excess uh, uh, capacity that the, and and some 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 excess inventories that they're going to be dumping in the market, and that's going to be driving the price down. So you can see that this is associated with a reduction a reduction in um, 
uh, the, the equilibrium quantity supp supplied and demanded here at the intersection here, and also this lower price, okay? So once again, we've shown you a shift in the demand, and we've shown you an upward shift in the demand, um, maybe because people have more money in their pockets, there's more income and more activity, which means higher uh, uh, higher total uh, quantity uh, supply and demand of oil at a higher price, and in the other direction, a reduction in the quantity supplied uh, and demanded, and this is because we had a leftward, a shift of the demand curve leftward and downward, and why is that? That's because, that might be because the world economy actually is doing worse uh, we're, we're, we have less money in our pockets and so on and so forth, and that brings uh, the, 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 the price of oil down and it brings the quantity supplied and quantity demanded down. Now let's look at supply shifts, okay? So this, for example, you will see that our initial supply curve here is this solid red line. Now let's suppose that we have a situation where uh, let's say that there's a disruption in supply. Let's say that there's a war. Let's say that in the in the Straits of Hormuz, uh, some of the, the some tankers are blocked, and that this is protracted. And there's some kind of political disturbance, um, which actually happens quite frequently in in oil producing countries. This is going to mean that you're going. This would be reflected in a an upward to the left. An, a decrease, essentially, a decrease in the in in the uh, supply curve, uh, and we're going to be walking along the demand curve. So this means that uh, the, the, that at any quantity supplied, uh, now uh, uh, suppliers will 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 require a higher price in order to supply oil, uh, and that's going to squeeze out demand. So the idea is that as we, as we, as we move along this blue curve, as we, we'll be squeezing out some demand, there's going to be less demand. Uh, so, and so the bottom line, the end result is that a lower quantity supplied in demand at a higher price. So that's what happens when we have uh, a, a leftward shift, a, 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 a reduction in supply, a leftward shift in the supply curve. Um, now, let's suppose that, that we have in the opposite direction. Direction. Um, let's suppose that, that we have uh, an outbreak of peace, for example, in an oil producing countries. And when you have that outbreak of peace, you know, when the, when the, when the, when the treaties are signed, the first thing they want to do is they want to get that oil, those oil fields back in production. And what would that mean, would mean uh, is that, is that you have an increase in, in supply, a shift in the supply curve to the right. And what will that mean? That will mean uh, um, uh, that, that, that more oil is being brought to the market and um, oil suppliers, oil producers are competing with one, with one another and they'll be driving that price down. And at the same time, that brings in even more buyers. Uh, the buyers want to take advantage of these new lower prices. And we'll move now to this new uh, equilibrium um, in this alternative scenario where we have actually a higher quantity supplied and demanded, but at a lower price. And why did that happen? Once again, because we had what we call a favorable supply shift. We had an increase in the supply uh, and a right a shift of the supply curve to the right and downward. So once again, okay, we had this reduction scenario when we have an outbreak of war, um, and that means less uh, oil purchased, less oil produced, and everything is at a higher price. And um, we had this outbreak of peace where we have, or we, we have, a, let's say, a new field. We could also have a new country coming on stream with, 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 their, um, with their oil. And that means uh, more oil at a, uh, the, the more oil supplied and demanded at a lower price. So we've kind of walked you through supply and demand. Um, uh, once again, this has been very quick. It's been a whirlwind tour. Uh, if you need to refresh your memory, go back and have a look at the recommended readings. Thank you very much.